46 and six teachers at an Amherst Elementary School are heading to Ghana this summer. Yeah, they're going to schools where some of their students actually have a connection. Daybreak's Alexander Rios Melvia has how this educational outreach trip is bringing both the teachers and the students closer together. Good morning, Alex. Good morning, Pete. Good morning, Kelly. This is a brand new educational outreach program that started with one common passion, which is education. The goal is to unite kids and teachers, both in Amherst and Ghana, for learning. Now, Heritage Heights Elementary School in Amherst is a, quote, melting pot of cultures. In fact, this entire performance that you see on your screen now was created to showcase stories about Africa to represent a couple of the students that attended this school that are from Ghana. Now, second grade teacher Jill Grinelli got to know one of their families very well and after many conversations there was a huge interest in global education. Now six teachers are got together and are now planning an educational outreach trip over the summer. They will work with two schools while they are there, an international school and a government school. I think what this does is it takes some of our, your stereotypes right and your misconceptions and it kind of turns it upside down you realize wow this is much different than maybe I thought it was right. Um, they have the same struggles, but also the same successes that we do. So therefore, I think it's eye-opening, and I think we're going to learn. It's going to be a real cultural exchange for both sides. We want to be an example for our students that, you know, take your gifts and talents and share it with the world. It's no good if you just keep all those things to yourself, right? You want to share that, and you want to be able to, you know, reach one and touch one, right? So I, I'm looking forward to what this does. And like I said, this is only the beginning to great things that are going to happen in the future. Now, the school has many fundraisers events coming up to make this trip possible, including Ghana Grooves and Yoga Moves on April 24th, a community scavenger hunt on May 4th, and the teachers are also collecting monetary funds and essential items like school supplies, personal hygiene products, and footwear to give to students in Ghana while they are there. Now, coming up in the next hour, I'll introduce you to some of the teachers who are also going on this trip and show you a special song that was created by their school's music teacher to share how we we are all more alike than different. Pete and Kelly, back to you. Boy, talking about uh, giving new perspective to uh, your, your lesson plans, yeah. right? Thank you very much, Alex.